And uh, I think we got one great matchup and one matchup that I worry about. We'll start with the one I worry about. Can, can UCLA give Gonzaga any sort of a run here? I, I know we didn't think they would against Alabama. We didn't think they would against Michigan. They beat them both. So my question here is, why can't UCLA pull the upset of, of the century? Why can't they beat them? I think because you're game planning for an offensive juggernaut. You know, Gonzaga, I thought, you know, USC was playing about as well as anybody. I had them against Kansas. They smoked yep. them. Yep. You watch the way they play against Oregon. It, it got semi-close, but it really wasn't a, a close game. You know, I, I know that they didn't beat them by 30, but I, I really thought USC would I, – I thought USC would lose, but I thought that they would give them – they'd be a handful because of their length in the zone. And, and I mean, it was just, I was on the other court getting ready for um, our game, which was UCLA and Michigan, but it was a, a just a destruction of USC. Um, and it, I, Drew, Drew Timmy is, is really, really good. You got a guy in Kispert who shoots it at such a high level. And Andrew Nemhart is like, the third option in the backcourt, <laughs> you know, like you're like he's the second option probably. But Suggs is a stud. You've got IIE. They, they have so much talent. I just don't see. We we said on our our game that for UCLA to beat Michigan, they got to keep it in the 60s. I mean, they held them to 49. That is yeah. incredible. Yeah. And and definitely Michigan is not the same with Isaiah Livers out. Um, they did not play well. I don't think anybody played well for Michigan. Credit UCLA for doing that. Um, I just don't see how you can. Stop this offense. It's like a runaway freight train. And I, I just don't see – I'm not sure anybody can slow them down with the way they're playing. Farnham told us this morning that he thought the best way to do it is just pick your poison and just say, you know what, Gonzaga, if you're going to make your shots from three, you're going to beat us. Kispert's the only elite shooter of the group, right? Like Suggs could easily have a, like a one for seven night from three. So if you back off – Make them into a jump shooting team and dare them. Go under on every ball screen outside of right, Kisper. Right. If he, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's probably the best way to try to beat them. Yes, that's probably what UCLA is going to do. They, they they're going to crowd uh, Timmy the way they did yeah. Hunter Dickinson and just send bodies and be like, you know what? If you're going to make threes tonight, you're going to you're going to win. But we're going to make yeah, you. Well, make well. Yeah. I think that's that's fair. The other one is a lot more interesting, but could be a lot could be ugly too in a different sense of the word. I mean, this could be a, a 57, 53 game. Uh, I think Baylor will score more than that, but uh, who knows? I mean, this could be a, like a backyard alley type game of, of Houston trying to muck it up because that's what they do, just getting on the offensive glass. Now the question is, Baylor's bigs looked a lot better, Rob. They looked gotcha. a lot better. Joshua played really well against Arkansas, yes. and he had kind of not been around the COVID um, deal. You know, Vital has lived in foul trouble. That That's definitely yeah. a concern. He has had four fouls in, like, every game the last, every like, yeah. uh, But with him, he gives you such versatility. You can you can play him at the five. You can play him at the four. You can switch five ways. You can you can switch four ways. You, you can do a lot of things with Mark Vital on the court. I thought Jared Butler – did some really good things in the first half too for a guy that has had some struggle shooting the ball here in the NCAA tournament. Um, he really struggled against uh, Villanova shooting the basketball. I, I love their guards. I, I just think, I think they get Houston, but I do think that it's going to be grinded out. And those Houston dudes, man, Quentin Grimes has really fit in there and, and become kind of the player that I think everybody thought he was going to be at Kansas outside of the champions classic where, he was that guy, <laughs> you know. Sure uh, Jero is a beast. I mean, that dude. He he plays so hard. He competes. He's there. I think he sets the tone for them um, on both ends of the floor with his toughness. Justin Gorham, you talked about the offensive glass. He's as good as anybody going. I mean, he's going every time. And certainly Baylor is going to have to play well because their discipline. Houston is. They play hard. They crush you on the glass. It's, it's going to be – I think it'll be a good game. But I do think that at the end of the day, we get the final four or the – excuse me, the national championship that we've all wanted, and that's Gonzaga and Baylor. So do you worry at all about – so Houston's played four double-digit seeds. They played in the AAC. 
which didn't really have anybody all year, right? I mean, let's face it. Like, AC was down. Wichita was okay. Did Penny Hardaway would What's argue that? that? Penny Hardaway yeah, would argue I know. that. NIT champions. NIT champs, baby. Do you worry about that, of, of the jump up in, in play now and competition for Houston? Because, you know, like Rutgers was the best team they played, I guess, so far. And, and Lost to Rutgers. Um, you know, they Rutgers was missing layups and right. dunk. Yeah. Uh, they imploded. Yeah, I do. I do worry about that. Not so much about the American Conference, but just the road you, you got here. Because all of a sudden, you're playing against a, a heavyweight in Baylor. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's not even close. You know, I had no disrespect to Oregon State or, or any of the other teams they played, Rutgers. Um, but the Baylor Bears, you know, outside of kind of coming off their COVID pause, have, have been the second best team in college basketball this season for the majority of it. So, yes, I, I do worry about that for sure. I'm still sticking with my Baylor Gonzaga final with Baylor beating the Zags. I think you went with the Zags winning. Yes. And I hope that. When this happens, we can go to Scott Martin, my high school teammate, current assistant in Notre Dame, and just crush him. Unbelievable that he's talking shit in, in the chat like this. If Mike Bray only knew. No, Coach Bray, he'd be disappointed in Scott. He expects more from him. <laughs>